think based off of some of the comments and emails and things I've been involved, I'd like to get more of a, a take on where you're, you're at with all that and how, what, what that means to you. I've sure my odd versions of it, I think, but I think I'm kind <laughs> of in the minority. So, yeah, let me just see if I can. Um, yeah, that's better. I'm just, it's such a beautiful night. Is that like a, come on, it's a nice pattern on your shirt, whatever that is. That's my dress. It's a dress. <laughs> Look at that. That's yes, awesome. when, in, when in France, I put in a bit more. My family, you know. How, how is it out there? It would be odd to say, is it nice? I mean, that seems crazy, but has it been pretty good? Is it? Yeah, it's lovely. Good. Yeah, it is lovely. How long are you out there? Um, till the end of the month, 31st of... Okay, 30, like, a, like yeah. a week? Yeah, actually okay. a week. Yeah. And yeah, it's, like, it's like 7 o'clock there right now? Is it it's that sunny? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, just 20 past seven. Yeah, nice, it's, ama nice. it's amazingly beautiful. It's, yeah, and it's such an old village built in 1400. So, wow, it's stunning. Yeah. So, good. you know, I mean, like <laughs> living in Southern California, I absolutely can't relate to anything that's been around since the 1400s. What? Like, I know. It's over know. 50 years old here. It's ancient. It's history. I know. That's well, amazing. have a, I'll just show you. I've, oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, my. It, it's so old, like everything around just looks like it comes out of medieval, you know, it's unbelievable. It's unbel everything is really old. Like there should be gargoyles on the roofs just <laughs> yeah. across the way. Actually, there are. In a are few there places. really? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Yeah, it's incredible. Very, very cool. yeah. yeah. Well, good, good. It sounds like everything's going good. Yes. Lovely. Very right. happy. I love moving around. Oh, I can it's imagine. Just, yeah, it's just really, honestly, I still give thanks for that every day. And this is your, your mom or your dad or you're both married still or what? Um, this is my dad's sister. Oh, and, okay. but, my, but my whole family lives in this one little village, 15 minutes from Cannes. And literally everybody's within walking distance. You know, I mean, you can see the whole, it's just a grid you know, and you walk and you're at everyone's house in about two minutes. So. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's very, I, I can't relate, but that's super cool. <laughs> I know yeah. it's weird. Well, it's weird coming from Australia because Australia, well, you can't get anywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's a, well, it's a hundred miles between your neighbor's house yeah. and you're right. It's ridiculous out there. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah. Well, good, good. So I guess we'll, um, I, I like, I, I'm assuming you get a lot of us pushed out comments as well. So yes. <laughs> uh, like what, what do you think? I mean, what, what do you think our, um, the listeners, the viewers are going to enjoy, you know, what are, what are the top five? I don't know. Let's cover a few of them and just kind of see where we're at with this. Curious. In terms of everyone as you pushed out. Yeah. Well, yeah. What that means, how that actually uh, translates into uh, mm. interactions maybe with our relationships with significant others or mm. how that relates to, you know, even something as mundane as us going to the gas station or petrol, you know, uh, you know what? <laughs> Cause we're always interacting with people. And yeah. is that literally us or is that like a reflection of us? Or I'm just curious where, where uh, Neville Goddard, I guess, because you've read a lot more of him than I have. I'm I've yeah. real strong in the Hicks and all that junk and, and reading Goddard and love him. He's fascinating. Mm. But yeah, I wanted to get your, your take on that. Help me well, out. Well, I think, um, I think, I mean, I keep talking about this on the channel. I've done four videos on that one topic. Wow. But it seems like people understand what it means, but then when they get in a situation in their own personal lives, it's like, well, he did or she said, and it's like, well, no, this is where you start to look at what it really means. And it's like, in any time you've got something in front of you, instead of going, why are they doing that? If you ask yourself the question, what have I got going on within me that that's in front of me? that's how you kind of unravel the everything as you pushed out, see. Well, let me ask so, about this because I got an analogy that I've been using. I'm curious what you think, but it's like what, how I see us, you know, like uh, those rear, like a movie theater, for example, how you got a projector behind you and then the screen's just basically reflecting what's yeah. being projected, right? So like we're the projector and the people that we interact with to me are kind of the screens. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Exactly. So I'm, exactly I'm, I'm, right. I'm on the right, right page. At least you right. are. You are. You're on it. <laughs> hey. But it's good having simple analogies that you can actually vision, like you can right. see the well, you visual me and they make sense. Ka -chunk, ka -chunk. Hello. I'm, ka -chunk. Uh, we're going back to the basics here now. Come on. Anyway. I'm glad yeah. to see you've remembered that one day. Heck yeah. You, that one's on, really I important. I remember most everything that you have said to me. So I'm just saying. <laughs> I am like mental notes right now. I'm recording this. I'm going to watch it a hundred times. Uh, come on, come on. I, 
I've got, I haven't shown you, I have like a, a mural of you in the other room and a, just a shrine in general. A shrine. But yeah, no, I mean, it's nothing. It's not like it's creepy. I mean, that would be weird. Yeah. No. You crack me up. <laughs> you really, I love the way your mind goes off into tangents. Oh, it does. It. And it's hard it. to steer it back. You can just imagine yeah, how you know manifesting for me is. Please don't steer it back. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. It makes the day interesting oh, for me, to say the does. least. It so, does. yes, uh, us pushed out people tend to. So, let's give a couple uh, life examples, maybe. Okay. So, the one I keep hearing a lot he's so stubborn. And if <laughs> I don't push him, he won't do anything. Yeah. Okay. I hear that probably 10 times a month in a pretty much exactly those words. Um, or she's so stubborn, I can't get her to do whatever. So if someone is stubborn, what are you projecting that they're like that? Usually, usually you're too needy, you're in longing, you're looking for love from them and they're sick of doing it for you. Yeah. So they're going to dig their heels in and be stubborn because they're, if you're projecting I'm not loved and you need to do it, they're going to go, no, I don't want to do it because you're needy. I'm trying to run away because you're repulsive in trying to get it from me and I'm sick of it. So what happens is you get unloved again. The experience, because yeah. you're feeling unloved, then you get the projection of not getting any love because it's a perfect match. Right. So that one is one that comes up probably, yeah. It's the main one. I hear those words, he's stubborn, she's stubborn. I hear those words in exactly that order hundreds of times and there's it's kind just, of there's a kind of a couple other sides to that too not like good just kind of like the the because everything i think is more multi-dimensional there's always multiple aspects to it and the way people absolutely hate to change first off you know people ah, i'm a change agent it's like no you're not no one is no one really likes abrupt change it's just it's 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 out we're just pattern kind of a species right yes and so yes. forcing change on someone is always a very painful concept no matter what i mean anyone that's got yeah. kids knows that you can't force your kids to do what you want otherwise parenting would be far easier than it is yeah. so you, you run into that risk whenever you try to change someone and i i would kind of always be curious too i've always noticed and here's going to be my main example and so i'd be curious if, if hopefully this comes through but this is this would be my point in a cheating relationship Oftentimes, yeah. if one person's paranoid and mm. always saying, hey, are you, who are you going out with? Who are you hanging out yeah. with? Who are you? And that yeah. person's definitely not cheating, right? The one that's being in, in, inquired in, upon. Yeah. Usually yeah. it's because this guy's cheating and he's parent, right? So you're seeing what you are. Mm -hmm. And so this person over here, again, is the projector. So I wonder if someone's being stubborn, mm. maybe they're being stubborn. Maybe there's change that their specific someone is requesting of them. And they're mm -hmm. like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. You need to change. So but the, I, I do wonder. Go ahead. the projection isn't necessarily um, an exact match. Like okay. as in, um, let me, let me just think how to explain this. It's like a prism almost. Maybe. Well, n like if, if you're projecting um, that, that you're getting stubborn from someone, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily stubborn oh, and okay. you can't see it. Okay. What's happening is, is, is often it's you're trying to get something from them and they don't want to give it. It's so they're just legitimately being, they're not, they're not tired necessary. of giving energy basically. They're tired of giving. They're tired, yeah. They're tired of giving you right. whatever you should be giving yourself. So if you're, if you're saying the person's stubborn, what that tells me about you is you're trying to get something from someone and they're not, they're not willing to give it and you still think it's their job and that, in your with okay. your hands on your hips still feel that they're the ones that need to change okay. that's what that tells me about the person making the comment about my person is stubborn okay so if you're projecting you know how you were just talking about the unfaithful thing right right if you've got someone in your life that is unfaithful doesn't mean that you're unfaithful what it means is you're projecting i'm second best i'm going to be cheated on I don't trust. I've got fear of being abandoned. What if it's the other way around though, where you're being accused of being the cheater? And yes. You're not. And you're not, which does happen. Okay. So what you're projecting, if you're being accused of cheating is I'm not trusted. I always get blamed for things that I don't do. Um, I'm angry that I always get 
um, distrusting people. Those are all the kind of beliefs and thoughts that you've got going on okay, that okay. create the person doing that to you. Right. Okay, okay. That, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So it's not always you, you're stubborn. I must be stubborn and I'm projecting that onto the person. It's, okay. You've got a collection of beliefs that create the person doing that to you. So if you want someone that's totally faithful, you project trust. Right. Okay. That, okay. That actually makes yeah. a lot of sense. And I, so that's, that's not something I've heard a lot of actually. Okay. No. And Bentino, I don't know if you've heard of Bentino. He's actually the one that probably described that the best. Okay. In, if you want someone who's trustworthy, you project full trust because that's a vibrational match. Someone who trusts with someone who's trustworthy go together. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So it's, mm. yeah, it's matching both sides of the polarity. If I'm allowed yes. polarity, but still, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. All right, yeah, what no, would be... It's quite fascinating how I... it matches. The everyone as you pushed out isn't an exact, you're doing this, so I have to be doing that and I'm projecting that onto you. It doesn't right. quite work exactly like that. Okay, good, good. Now, what would be uh, another one that's uh, really common with uh, a lot of the listeners that you get? Um, I get a lot of, it's like they're, they're projecting out, his family's not going to accept me, his friends are influencing him negatively, or her friends are influencing her negatively to not be with me. I get that a lot. Okay, interesting. Now, people think that other people have the ability to affect and influence the person that they know. Now, if that's your belief, they will have the ability to influence I, the person that you know, because it's in your consciousness. It's the collection of your consciousness, collection of your thoughts, your beliefs, right. and it goes out and then it attracts the person that has family members that interfere, that has friends that interfere, and that person allows them to do so because you have projected that that's the case. Nice. That, Cause that's like, I've mm. been on the other, the other side of that. And it's like, well, this is kind of why I'm this way with my thoughts, but I didn't actually think about it to, mm. yeah, you bring up such a great point about the kind of person you are going yes. to attract. And certainly if you're trying to attract a specific, someone that is not of that ilk, then obviously yes. you are not going to be with them. Yeah. You can't be, you're not. And I still, that's where I think you law of attraction is right. It's energetic. So your frequency, if it's not right, you're not, yeah. you're not uh, going to, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So anytime, like going back to what we said at the yeah. beginning, anytime you have something in front of you, that's unpleasant to you, you go instead of saying, mm, why are they doing that? Why is that like that? You go, what have I been doing in my thoughts, feelings, and beliefs yeah. on this subject in relation to this person or in relation to that job or in relation to my money? What have I been doing in the last month or two that's been going out from me what is it that I need to change? And that's, because, that's been mm. huge in my life, frankly, is to, uh, helping me evolve as a person. Because a lot of times, this is how I've found, at least with me, is some of those little like subconscious things, you know, my issues with my mom, all these crazy, like yes. these things yes. bubble to the surface. And it's like when you start seeing this and others, if you will, I mean, it's usually the easiest place to see it, especially those you love, then yep. you start to take notice and then now it's conscious now it's on a conscious level rather than subconscious now i can deal with it now i can actually look yeah. at it and go okay i'm good mm. I, I i'm fine with that mom i forgive you you know you had to do what you yeah. had to do right like there's no reason to carry on that negative belief so it's no i, I think it's a huge helper a lot of people ask at least for yeah. myself like how do i know if this is you know gonna help or not help or it's like these are kind of how yeah. these things bubble up you know i think yeah yeah, yeah. And, and I think if you can, cause see, I get this up. This is the other kind of question pattern I get, you know, can you help me? I need to forgive this person for what they did to me. It's like, well, okay. Are you open to hearing something? Once you understand that it was your projection, you're the conscious creator because of what you had going on, brought this into you. You don't need to forgive the other person. You need to forgive yourself because you didn't know better. Therefore you couldn't create better. Now you know better, you can create better. Yeah. So you get to the point where you don't have to run around trying to forgive everybody because you understand it was you that didn't understand. It wasn't them, it right. was you. Right. And then you go, okay, now I know that. I can start to go, okay, I, I really didn't know any better at the time. I did the best I could with the information I had. Now that I understand everyone as you pushed out because Neville Goddard has explained it so well and that he brings everything back to you and the state you were in and what state you were in at that time went out, pulled something in, even though it was unpleasant, 
you now know, you forgive yourself, you go, okay, now I've got the information. Now I've got to get good at applying it. The next time around something happens, I will then self-reflect, project out something different, correct my problem into a solution. And then from there, I can create the thing that I want. And that's what I think so many people forget to kind of realize is you can rechange your day. I mean, actually multiple times in the day, but even to make it even <laughs> simpler, when you wake up tomorrow, it's a chance to start mm. all over. You don't, don't have to think the same thoughts. You don't have to be yeah. the same person you were the day prior. And that's where there's a huge mm. amount of success and joy in finding these moments where we, where we are, I'm going to say it, where we're sucking. But yeah. it's like, because this is why. And now you know. Now you yeah. can change it. Now you can make a difference. And it's, mm. it's amazing how literally overnight, the second you see something and you basically go, no, I don't want to believe that anymore. I, I, mm. I see that I have been. Literally tomorrow can actually be a totally different day when it comes to that. You may never see yeah. that, that behavior yeah. again. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it, I mean, that's what happens. The more conscious you get at what you're projecting, you kind of, rather than always cleaning up messes, you're um, not creating them in the first place. Like proactive so, instead of reactive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that take, I mean, that does take time. And I mean, you know, we're human. We all have yeah. emotions that get out of control. And well, I even somewhere. wrote it down here so I wouldn't forget. You talked about in one of your videos recently, and it was, I don't know, you do so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, some famous person uh, said something like they were really big on the manifesting thing. And by the time they were like really old, they're like, I think I'm 80% on this or whatever. Oh, and Louise I, Hayes. Louise Hayes. Okay. Yeah, with her thinking. Yeah. So that I thought was kind of a good point to sort of bring up. And this is, here's a lady that was doing it for how many years? I don't know. You know, well, she was around, well, my mom was listening to her. Oh, that was the, the one for the tumor set. Yeah. Oh, okay. She was good, around okay. in the seventies. So she's like, yeah. She's Goodness. the godmother so, of manifesting. Yeah. Right. There you go. And so, mm. again, it, even these people that have been doing it their whole lives, yep. 80%, man, come on. It, be, yep. be fair to yourself. Give yourself a chance. Love yourself yes. enough to get better at this. You know, it might yeah. be, you might be 1% better three weeks from now, <laughs> but you're 1% better, right? Like, come on, exactly. look at it the other way. It's your glass exactly. half full, Just, half empty. Yep. Exactly. And the thing is, it's like you haven't got a ruler where you go, okay, you go, you've gone up one point. Today. Yeah. Like, like you we don't like measure have the back that. of your head against the wall. It, You're like, exactly. I'm right. <laughs> exactly. I had one of those at home too. I'm spiritually on. one inch taller. <laughs> Check it out. I'm awesome. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. I have issues. I, my mom did not hug me enough. That's my problem. I just, no, well, she gave you some damn good imaginal <laughs> skills. There you every go, time exactly. you describe something, I get uh, a visual of it. So <laughs> it works nice. well for me. Well, good, good. Thank you. Anyway, yeah. yes. But yeah, so, yeah. You don't have a ruler. Like, yeah, the ruler. But yeah, it's like people say, oh, well, how long is it going to take me to believe that? And I think, well, I'd love to tell you, but I can't actually measure your beliefs from over uh, here in Sydney or France right, right now. You can't so, measure it. You know, there's so many variables. Could. Yeah, there's so many variables that go into it. I mean, your your beliefs, how much you get in your own way, all these yeah. all these things I think and that's what I don't think there's any one magic bullet for most of us. Like it's a, an issue of how many tools do you have in your tool belt? Mm. And and sometimes mm. you got to switch it up. Sometimes you got to try something different. Sometimes you got to try, you know, five things just to kind of keep it fresh. Yeah. Huh? It just, yeah. you get, I, I think it's like your thinking is almost like a muscle, right? If you do the same it thing is. over and over, it starts to not really work anymore. Yeah. So you yeah, switch sure. it up. And you hear it from a slightly different um, teacher or someone that explains it slightly differently. And you go, oh, I get that now. I've been listening to that for ages. Because a lot of people say that with Neville, you know, oh, I didn't know what that's what he was talking about. And it's like, well, neither did I. Yeah. You know, I've had to read his books from, you know, different angles and different, because he repeats his stuff a lot. He does. He does. And it's Neville, a lot of it's through storytelling, you know, which is cool. A lot of it, which is great, because I yes. think the stories is what makes people get it, not the parts in between where, you know, he tries to explain. I mean, some people do because they have got that kind of mind. But for the rest of us that, you know, like just general English and that the stories, the people that tell the stories in their own words, especially in the law and the promise, yeah. um, those stories, it's like they're timeless. No matter when you read them, they still make sense in English. So. Well, and it helps too earlier on because so many of us lack that. It's that belief thing. That's what so many of us like. It's like, does this really work? Am I doing it right? And it's like when you've yeah. done it for years and years, you know, it's just doing it. Yeah. It's an issue. If it's not happening yet, then there's some other aspect to it. It's not yeah, me doing yeah. the work. So exactly. yeah, I think it, it helps. I think 
that people can be like, okay, well, these are other people saying it. It's not just yeah. this guy that wrote the book, right? Because that doesn't. Exactly. So I think it does get that buy-in yeah. factor. It gets increased yeah. a little bit. And then you get like, you get kind of, every time you manifest something, you get stronger in your confidence. Yeah. And every right. time you get stronger in your confidence, it helps you for the next thing. And then you get like 10 years worth of it or five years. It doesn't have to even be that long, but you start to get this assurance from the inside, which is exactly what you want. You get self-assured. You stop looking to psychics or tarot readers or mediums to assure you, you start to do it for yourself and you start right. to create. I'm not saying those people aren't good because they're amazing at finding you know, dead bodies and, you know, all that <laughs> yeah, stuff. Right. Because, you know, I know a lot of them that are, that have helped in those. And I think in those circumstances, they're amazing missing persons and all that. Right, right, but right, I right. think when people go to them for relationship reassurance, yeah. in my opinion, I don't think that's a wise idea. Well, I come from that crazy background, not saying I am, but I'm just saying a lot yeah, of times all they're doing, all right. And all they're doing is reading <laughs> your energy right now. It's not, exactly. it's not your tomorrow. I mean, for the most part, unless they're extremely gifted, mm. I've definitely met a few people over my years that were just amazing. But mm. for the most part now, they're just reading where your energy's at right now. And yeah. if you're going to a psychic, odds are you're already in a state of doubt, right? I mean, why else would exactly. you be going? You're not going to just say, Hey, you want to give me the winning lotto numbers? You know, exactly. it's like, that. Oh. So that's again, exactly right. you're already in a bad place if you're going there. That's mm -hmm. what they're reading. So no, save yep. yourself the hundred bucks or whatever the hell they're charging <laughs> nowadays. And, and, and you go know. And invest in some Neville Goddard books. Boom. Yeah. Start reading, <laughs> read something good, you know? So yeah, I'm there with you on that. That'll work. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, he's amazing. I mean, not just Neville, there's Abraham Hicks yes. and there's, you know, so many others, but yeah, I mean, I think his stuff is you know, he's the only one that says imagination creates reality and you power up by using it, that faculty. And, right. you know, I haven't heard anyone else say that. I'm not, you know, maybe there is someone that said it, but I've never come across any other teacher that says it quite that simply. Did the sun just land on the deck where you're at right now? Did it literally really, just touch down right, right in like front of you? To I'm totally white now. I've got it. There we go. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the sun's just like beating you down. I feel yeah, bad for is. you. Yeah, it is. And I'm really hot. So let me and just try and wow, that's that's, better. that's a little like I, I, <laughs> a little modest, maybe a uh, little bring that down. I'm so hot. Huh? Woo. <laughs> I'm so wow. Hot. You hear this people? This is, I mean, anyway, uh, yeah. am I too dark though? Is it, can you see me? I can it's see quite you blinding yeah. back here. Yeah. You, well, yeah, that, or you're just so whitewashed. It's a, uh, let's, yeah. you know, it's like when I have, I have like this funny little problem and I keep getting like light on me in odd places. So I'll like have to film with my <laughs> face. Like, I can't move. So yeah, it's pretty exactly. fun. Exactly. It's good For it times. To adjust, yeah. Adjust. Oh, it's brutal. Yeah. yeah so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So all that being said, yeah. um, so us pushed out what, any other thoughts jump out at you as to um, the common, because to me, it feels like a lot of people take it to a level of literalness that I think is. Yeah, that's true. And I'm glad you brought that up about if I'm stubborn, does that mean that I yeah. you're saying someone's stubborn? Does that mean that I'm really the right. stubborn one? Oh, yeah. So I'm glad point. you brought that up because a lot of people do think that. And it's like, I forget that that's what they think. So yeah, it's not necessarily that exact kind of thing, but it's like you're saying, if you're projecting, um, if you're worried about someone cheating, what you're projecting is fear of abandonment. What right. you're projecting is I'm not loved and I need you to do it. And if you, if I think that you might be cheating, that means you're going to take the love away from me and then I'll be completely not loved because right. I don't know that I have got love within me. Right. So yeah. So it's not quite, you know, for me, the funny part, how I learned that exact lesson actually is going through it <laughs> and yes. being abandoned and actually have not, I don't mean my uh, mom, I mean a girlfriend, I manifested yes. a relationship and yeah. literally got stranded in Tennessee. I was living in her sister's house. Like I rented, it was uh, horrible. So like, so like, it was like one of the lowest periods in my life, but I realized yeah. I was fine and there's nothing yeah. to be afraid of. There was no reason to be. So almost from that standpoint, I like got over it because it didn't become um, something that I was concerned about, something that I was afraid would happen to me or, you know, like, uh, and mm. of course, just not, I, I think, trying not to associate myself with that part of myself. That's, I think that's been the other side of it that's very tricky is like, I think it's more Esther Hicks, but she's like, don't, don't associate with that. Don't, yeah. Don't keep saying, well, yeah, my mom abandoned me, you know, like, cause if you keep yes. doing that, then you keep yes. keeping keep that alive. alive. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, exactly. You got to water that I'm loved and isn't it fantastic that I feel loved and isn't it one and you just shift gears. You know, I remember Esther once this woman was, you know, in the chair and she starts her story by going, you know, Oh, you know, and I'm, 
I really need some help. I haven't got any money and I'm not, you know, and Esther just goes right over the top of her. She didn't even wait for her to finish. She just goes, I have so much money. And basically, I thought, I mean, when I first heard it, I thought that's she was awesome. a bit rude. Yeah, that's but so then awesome. I realized what she was doing. Yeah. She was telling her to be quiet, stop telling that story, yep. and you pace this over the top and you keep doing that. Yeah. Stop wasting your time telling this story about what's not working. Yep. So it was such a great example to see that because you can do that with yourself with everything. You know, oh, I'm not loved. Oh, I am very, very yes. loved. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that's like, I, I, I've done a few shows on that one is where it's like, try to notice that you're doing it. Like, what can I do to yeah. catch myself and change? Just notice yeah. when you do it and then just replace it. That's and just replace say it, it again. I mean, just yeah. state the statement say again. again. Yeah, yeah. Differently, correctly, positive yeah. or whatever. And, and you don't have it. to go digging in your childhood. No. Where did it come no. from? Who created Who it? Who cares? Stop. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Catch it right now. Change it. Realize, ah, that is one of the places I do that. And then yeah. again, once it's brought to the conscious level, I was talking about, when you peel a, a, an onion, you don't, mm. you can't take a layer that's five layers down. I can't take it off before I take no. the other five layers on top. I can't, it's impossible. Exactly. So exactly. take the layers as they come and, and grow with them, make the change right on the spot. Boom. Hey, awesome. Be happy. Rejoice. You are now yeah. aware of something that has been holding you back. That's and, it. And probably is gone now, hopefully. Mm, yeah exactly and i mean every time it comes up if you do that quicker and quicker then you spend less and less time yeah react infecting yourself with the with the offense so to speak and you spend more and more time not even saying the negative to begin with because you become more conditioned to kind of stating things in the positive you mm. know right off the bat and you're like Ooh, that was a good one like you you'll even notice you'll even maybe pat yourself ah, you know it hurts when you do it but you gotta be careful but sometimes <laughs> yeah like I did good yeah. on that. I was, I was just making a statement yeah. and, and it would have been negative before. And this time it was positive right on. Okay. I'm doing exactly, this. And exactly. And that's all. It's just, and that's, it's that simple. You just stop doing it. You just stop going over it. You stop telling that thing again. Yep. You know, because we and, do whip out our, what do they call it? Woundology. When yeah. you kind of whip, whip it out and go, yeah, my mother abandoned me. That's why I'm like this. And this is why my relationships are like that. Oh my God. Oh, what's awesome is when you get two or three of those people together that pour me themselves into this awesome resonance of my life's worse and your life's worse and my life's worse. And it's like, okay, both your lives suck. All right. You guys should be miserable. Why aren't you crying? Like, yeah. It, so yeah, it's one of those where it's like, what is wrong with you? Why do you want to be yeah. like that? exactly exactly but it is it's funny you know because you, when you're in that and you do that you don't actually see that that's actually creating more stuff the, and that's and people don't oh, realize too that it, uh oh what happened i've got to no i've got 10 percent on my thing i just gotta oh, go no. in all right we're on the move people watch out this is live move. action video <laughs> is your family in the background hi that was did you see my auntie she's sitting no. there oh, i heard i heard noises i heard voices <laughs> I'm going to try and just video from her kitchen. Oh, that's awesome. She's got to love this right now. She's doing the crosswords. Oh, she very good. <laughs> she, she, doesn't, she doesn't speak English, so it's easy. Fascinating, because I speak pretty much no French. Like, I can <laughs> very little. So, that's awesome. So, yeah, we were uh, talking about how easy it is, I think, to change, uh, alter our thoughts and when you're noticing something in your life and then you catch that you're talking about it, it's that causation connection. I like to think yeah. of it as, but once you yeah. notice that and then stop doing it, it's actually surprising how fast a lot of these things disappear from our lives. I think that's yeah. one of the ways you almost know it's working. Yeah, for sure. I think that is the really the only way, you know, it's working because people say, oh, how long is that going to take? Well, until yeah. it stops, it, it stops sprouting on the outside, you know, <laughs> Yeah, the second you stop doing it on the inside, right? Like you said, then we'll 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 be able to tell you how long it'll take before it goes away. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's that so. simple. It's that simple. So yeah, yeah. So uh, do you think the way, like you and I, still like we were talking about a haze? I think what her name was, right? You're saying yeah, Louise Hay. Yeah. There you go. Hey, okay. Uh, yep. Eighty percent. She was a bit older, and she's eighty percent solid. That's awesome. Hang on, Dan. Sorry, I'm no, right next right. to where my I... auntie's phone is. I'll just give it to her so it doesn't drive me mad. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right, we oh got. Oh my her. god! Oh, that was, that was man. That was yeah. some awesome <laughs> ringing there. Ah. Oh. 
Oh I my lord! That I hope people sad. were dancing with me. That's all. I was trying to start like a dance, like soul train thing. There. Did you really hear that? Was that really oh, yeah. loud? Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got that. It came through on. beautifully. I guess I. I don't know. I heard it wonderfully. It's gonna be in my video. Oh, I think it's God. outstanding. And they will. They will be like that. The guy can't dance. That's what. That's probably yeah. the first thing. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's all about enjoying yourself. That's the important part. Others well, don't we have to enjoy it with me. <laughs> but we are. We I sure as heck am. That's in you as well, I hope. So. Good. Oh, my God. We're rocking out. It's good. So I'm, uh, I'm wondering if um, – so you and I, we have our regular challenges from time to time, and it seems like people are always curious because, again, I, we're regular people too, and I, I think there's yeah. this thought that sometimes we're somehow abnormal in some way, and it's like we're not. We're, we're normal, just like you, but – yeah, so some of the things that, I don't know, maybe we struggle through from time to time. I, I, mm. Some people, I got a couple emails, unless you got thoughts of... Uh, no, go for it. Go for I, it. I'm I'm just, I, I'll follow the thread. Yeah, well, I was, uh, I was kind of just doing one recently, even from like a family member's been kind of going through a lot of stuff in their lives. And, and it's the way I've had to get involved with it. It sometimes forces me to catch myself, mm. how I've sort of invited this into myself and I got stuck kind of being a middleman and all these things. Yeah. And I, I just, it's one of those reminders that you, you go after the effect. You're like, I should not have gone down that path. I should not have opened that door. I should not yeah. have made the connection yeah. that I did. And so it was just one of those where uh, mm. after, after uh, it's, it's almost over. I uh, probably maybe 10 more days. We'll see. Yeah. So one example that I've recently mm. been through, mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever have, any, yep. Any struggles? Any? <laughs> How did you get over to France, by the way? Did you fly or did you take the train? As I tangent, I flew. I flew, right. but yeah, uh, you know, I've landed in the middle of all my family dramas. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm surrounded by every oh, yeah. member of my family. Look, just between you, me, and the audience. Yeah, which is nobody. My right? parents I mean, left here because of all the stuff. <laughs> then that's why we moved to Australia. That's so, about yeah. as far away as you can go, too. Yeah, a lot of those people that created the dramas are dead now. So, but yeah. Oh, okay. Was yeah. it so? It's like some crazy like family history. Like again, it's something something I can't relate to. We just yeah. raped and pillaged apparently <laughs> along the way. I'm such a Euro mutt. I, I'm like a little bit of every country. It's awesome. <laughs> My family heritage was horrible, apparently. You can see my auntie in the background there. Yeah, oh, there she is. Hi. <laughs> that's French. It's so, she says it. It's just so, mm, everything said in French always sounds beautiful, no matter what. It could be horrible. I know. It could be, oh, it could be cussing, and it still sounds eloquent. It still sounds good, yeah. I wish uh, I could hear, hear it without knowing what it sounds like. Well, yeah. Oh, what you mean what they're actually saying? Because you're just like, yeah, it's mundane. That's, yeah, it is. But it's like when you, when you speak it, you don't hear it through. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it sounds awesome. Yep. This is a different one, like the, the whole France thing. And then you, um, yeah. So when you're in England, you seem like you get your own room or whatever, because I've never ever heard your significant other making noises yeah. in the background. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dis bonjour, mon copain. On fait la radio. On fait le radio maintenant. Il a dit qu'il te voyait Bonjour. Bonjour. Il a dit bonjour. I speak no French. <laughs> this is my auntie, everyone. Kine. <laughs> Hello, auntie. Il a dit bonjour, tante. <rire> c'est ton copain de quoi euh, C'est mon... Il fait la radio et on met ça à YouTube. On fait ça une fois par an. Une fois par mois. Ah, d'accord. Oui. How do you say stupid American? Il a dit c'est un stupide américain. <rire> I barely speak Spanish. Outside of that, I have yeah, one language. We're, hor we're horrible here. Bye, au revoir. Au revoir. Yes, I know that word. Il a dit ça, il a compris. Well, there you go. You're she's right. Making she's making gazpacho. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, gazpacho. So, yeah. Gazpacho. That's very French, yeah. right? Isn't mm, it? Mm. I think. Yeah. No, it's, okay. um, I think it's Spanish. It's cold oh. soup because it's like a oh. thousand degrees here today. We need uh, something, something to cool, to cool it down. down. Nice. Yeah. What is, what is a thousand degrees? Oh, so it's crap. It's going to be in Celsius. I won't even know what that is. It's really, no, it's because um, you're Fahrenheit, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, double it and add 30. So it's around 100. Dang. I think around 100. Yeah. Yuck. It's really hot. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. Is the humidity pretty bad or no? 
Yeah, it's stinking hot. Like I'm dripping. So <laughs> fun, right? Yeah, but that's that's a good thing of moving around, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Especially coming <laughs> indoors instead of cooking out on the patio or wherever you were. Yeah, yeah, wow. it's good. So wow. where were we? God, my aunt. Well, you know, I was the the the. the, the us walking through challenges. I mean, you were talking about the family, uh, how you got some mm. sort of interesting family mm. history. That's, uh, you know, yeah. maybe you guys were throwing spears at the neighboring well, you're communities. Walking into, well, you, I think too, like when you do the work that we do with talking about everything as oh. you pushed out, it's like, it makes me look at what I'm pushing out around the relatives that really irritate me. <laughs> well, let me let me ask you this too cuz this is in I'm, I yes. I mean it's it's the same concept is do you think when we when we talk about some of the things that we don't necessarily normally interact with in our lives but you know questions are brought up or things or maybe something we notice I don't know that would probably mm. I guess if it's coming to us as a question it's in our consciousness already. I yeah. I almost wonder sometimes if us visiting some of these things allows us to experience them to a degree that we maybe might not otherwise. Does that make sense? Yeah. No? Yeah. Maybe, maybe. So it's yeah. almost like maybe that's why sometimes we get some of the family fun that we get is because we've already talked about it. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Again, I'm uh, I'm curious how that works because I know Esther Hicks talks about like if, if you're hanging out with people that have, uh, certain issues that they're always talking about, like maybe politics yeah. is a great example in the, in the States, but whatever, but like where they're mm. always talking about the same thing and it's maybe always kind of inspires sort of a negative energy. And it's like, you just stop doing it. You just mm. let it go. Just get away from mm -hmm. it. Stop hanging out with those people, whatever the case is. Yeah. And it's like yeah. that behavior no longer really exists in your life. You don't really see it anymore. Yeah. So, so I sometimes wonder. I guess, you know, sometimes you can spend some time. It depends how, sometimes I think, look, ah, oh, this person isn't that important to me. They're just an acquaintance. So I don't really feel like spending time revising this. I don't really have the energy. I've got other people I want to work on or myself in relation to other people. So I'm not even, I'm just going to not be around that person. That'll be easier. So you kind of go, I think you just assess, you know, which ones are. Well, I think like you said, doing I, and not. Yeah, well, absolutely. And I, and I think that's almost like when you, sometimes I think energetically we, graduate from people and situations and yeah sorry that's my alarm to tell me Jeez, that's so... something to do with you because i oh, programmed hey. it in london i didn't oh. program it here so you and i me... should have hopped on the phone call an hour ago yeah. we should have yeah. uh, oh it's dang it or telling zoom. me to hop on nice is it's... it oh because it's the still the uh, london it's, i said well i said it for to remind me to hop on with you but it must still be on london time because they're an hour <laughs> behind because yeah we uh we missed it. <laughs> we are late. This is the most bloody jumbled thing. We've it ever is, done, but I think. I think it's kind of funny and it's kind of real. And you're in France now, which is totally different, right? So that's a total different energy that you're dealing yeah. with. And like you said, you're here. You are in the thick of it in the in the mm. neighborhood where mm. you've got all this uh, historic energy. Yeah. So there's yeah. and four generations of my family have been born here and raised. Wow. My auntie, who's behind me. Yeah. She was born, she's 64. She was born here. My father was her older brother. They've lived here their whole lives. Oh, They've wow. never left the village. So it's now, like were I you, come back here. Were mm. you born in this village or city or, or well, or I wherever was, the I was local born, hospital is? Yeah, I was born at the local hospital down the road. But so lived yeah. in this neighborhood? I mean, like when you were born, yeah. they brought you home yeah. to this neighborhood? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it's that, like, I went to school here so I wouldn't forget the language. So it's like this really old memories for me all my childhood memories here are here right and you moved all over the place like you said yeah. though right you france then you went to what, italy or something too, no i went or? to canada i was in canada vancouver island for 16 okay. years wow okay. and then my parents immigrated to australia when i was 17 so then i was i've been there for 32 years wow and yeah so it's been like this complete now you know, when you were in australia did you i mean we're so not even talking about anything but it's fun anyways um <laughs> Right. I mean, I'm just getting to know you better. I think it's cool. Um, when you were in Australia, did you kind of always associate yourself as being from France or were you kind of more Australian at, at towards the um, end of it? Um, look, it was, it's always been a bit confusing because my name is Italian. Right. Which, yeah, like, I don't feel any connection to Italy just cause I never lived there. I was always born was you, here. Your dad. But half the ten, yeah. My dad was Italian and, and my grandmother was, his parents were half French, half Italian. So, oh, okay. um, but yeah, it's like, my heritage, my name is Italian, but I have no connection to Italy whatsoever. 
I'm born here, so I speak the language. Then I lived in Canada, then I lived in Australia. So, but I really feel I'm, I'm French, but Australian because that's where I've lived. I feel more my lifestyle is more Australian. Right. But my, my roots are here. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Still catch yourself there saying you go. g'day or anything fun like that? No, I haven't had the chance to say that I'm missing that. <laughs> I, I would imagine. It's such a cool greeting. I, I miss working with the G'day. Australians. Yeah, just, just Australians G'day, in general. It's just such a freaking awesome culture. I love it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway. Anywho. So, yeah, we were, uh, we were talking about moving through some of our challenges, but I, I, I didn't really have anything more than that or us pushed out. Mm. And mm. Like, yeah, I, think, I think that's good. Yeah. I think we've, we've done – I think we've covered quite a bit of that subject because I think – it's good to dissect one thing and do it well so that people understand it because I've done four videos on it and I still get people email me going, I don't, can you actually talk about that particular thing in relation to that particular specific person subject or, and it's like, Oh, I think, cause I, it is quite complicated. It's right. like you can understand it, but then to apply it to your life, that's the different thing. That, like, and how do I apply that to this? And that's such a hard part of what we're trying to do because I get a lot of emails where it's like, ah, I wish you could do mm. that story, but on this version of the relationship scenario. Exactly. Like, and it's like, man, I can't yeah. cover every single scenario. Like, you guys have to kind of take some of these concepts that we're trying to share. And, yeah, and, and apply and, them. Yeah. And have a, crack at, have a crack at it. Yeah. Well, that's the yeah. only way you're ever going to actually make any true progress in your life yeah. is to start to see the behaviors yeah. within yourself. And then now you're armed with something powerful. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. Sure. Well, okay. I think we've done. I think yeah. we've done a good show. It I think to be. so too. I think yeah. They don't have to be an hour long. And now hmm. we're barely at a half hour. Do we want to just release this as is? I might chop yeah. it into. I don't know, but I it's hmm. I okay. Cool. Cool. I, I just, send it to, did you record it? Or did you want me? To send uh, yeah. No, it to I'm you? recording. I'm actually doing my little double camera thing, like not always, cool. but uh, yeah. No, I'll I'll uh, I'll use the recording, and if you want, I'll chop. Uh, Beautiful. Well, no, send okay. me, send me yours. I'll chop yours after I chop. Well, that was what, what I did last Dan? time. Cause yeah. What? It's only 30 minutes or whatever. I'll just load it up as one. There you go. Boom. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. No, it's not that long. Right. What, yeah. do, you, do you get, do you look at your average listen numbers? Are they average? Long? What? The average listen on video. I do. I'm a real analytics geek. Now. Cool. So like what, what's, what's the, for the, for the, the genre, do you know what the kind of the norm is or. Uh, the norm for any for, YouTube. For, yeah, well, yeah, I guess. I'm sure assuming it's under, you know, like five, keep them short, I think is the general rule, but I Yeah, fail. keep them short. Five minutes is yeah. four to You're five good. minutes. You're awesome on that. I'm horrible. Yeah, at, I don't do that anymore, working though. Working on it. I, I don't do it anymore. I used to because my iPhone would only record five minutes because oh, would. I didn't have any, mem have any memory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, oh, but you're using your iPad now, right? I'm using the iPad now. I know. Yeah. There she goes. Yeah. She's got some, got some skills. All right. Well, we'll let you go. Um, and I'll try to send you an email for I don't know, roughly about this time next month. And then we'll. we'll yeah. Come. Yeah. Just send me an email when you're ready and we'll lock yeah. in the next day. Love I'm it. I'm still Love in London it. till the end of August. So yeah. And in London till the end of August or. In, okay. Okay. Mm. The whole month of August, I'm in London, then back to Sydney, September, October. Are you really? I, Why are you going I back to so. Sydney? I thought you were just going to stay in London. My mom. My mom. Oh, okay, okay. My mom, so I need I, my mom. I'm gonna probably bring her to London to France, so I'll go and get her and work out when we're coming back. So yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, I look forward to talking to you soon, and uh, you and I too. hope everything's going well. It was nice to meet your aunt. Tell her, tell her hi yeah. for me again, and I and will that, tell her. And that whole French language. She's in the video, thing. so. Oh, she is like part. She's a rock star now. <laughs> look at that. She's you are famous. <laughs> she can't hear me. I know. But you know what? What? What's Normally, that? I I came to France with the adapter, so I could use. Oh, the French plugs, right? Right, because crazy but, French plugs. But but the plugs connect to Australia and France, and I brought London and France, and none of the plugs <laughs> work. So that's nice. why I'm in her kitchen because I'm using her connection. <laughs> nice, nice. That's very good. Yes. Well, you have a good one. It was all. It was super nice talking to you as always. You too, Dan. Yeah. As always. And hopefully, yep. people enjoy. Have a good one. You too. Right. Talk to you soon. You got it. Bye bye. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.